What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Kuroko no Basket. Today we're doing episodes 61 and 62. The first one is called This Time. Second one is called The Greatest Player. Also very gets me excited. Um, at this point, I'm questioning whether that's Kisei Kagami, Almine, it could be anyone because Kisei is going to be using his ultimate perfect copy till the end of the match. We do have a, a little bit of a lead in terms of points, but with him having that, you don't know how long that's going to last. I'm very excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. If you guys want early access and full length up to four episodes, check out that Patreon. Links are down below like always for you guys. Let's hop right on into it. Kuroko no Basket, episode 61. This time, let's do it. All right, here we go. Episode 61. And this time... Whereas normally I would agree with you, you're going against Seirin, so it'll be hard, but with the right timing, we could do it. And if they don't tell us the plan, I think they're actually going to do it. So let's do it. He is so fast with it. Akashi is so clean. So, Kuroko has Kisei marked. What is he going to do? We're leaving it up to him to stop him. We got Izuki coming in as well with his Eagle Spear. The tr the I know, the triple team, the three man all up on Kisei's balls. So then he just chucks it behind him. There's a little 360 chuck behind, all the way to Kasamatsu. And then a repass over to an alley-oop to fucking Kisei, and that's that. No, that was a nice try though, Kagami. Now the audience is starting to vote for the underdog. An audience loves to come back, you know. Oh, pattern of failures. We're starting to slip up. Get sloppy at the end. Oh, of course he can do the phantom shot too. <laughs> Bro, this man. It's so crazy that he can do Kuroko too, which is like Kuroko is one of like the most unique styles out there. So it's, it's the fact that he can copy Kuroko. So instead of the mis instead of misdirecting it like Kuroko's phantom shot, he just does a Midorima actual rainbow shot and still makes it in. But what I was saying, like copying Almine and Murasaki Bara in the GOM is one thing, but Kari copying someone like Kuroko whose form is so weird and wacky, like Kisei really is one of the goats. Yeah. The crowd loves the comeback. That's how it happens. Audiences uh, can be very easily swayed, can be very fickle. That's exactly what it is. The pressure, just, pressure is rising and they're out of their comfort zone. It's difficult to play normal. Sloppiness happens, desperation. You don't think as slow and efficiently as normal. You just kind of speed to do things, an air ball. We need our own little personal cheering crowd or something. <laughs> <laughs> you're not wrong about that i have heard a lot of you're supposed to play like you have nothing on the line you know play loosey-goosey exactly like you're supposed to play as relaxed as you can because tensing up increasing the pressure is not good but the pressure is naturally increasing so it's this is this is a rough situation right here That pivot 360 was so clean. And then an immediate jump off into a dunk. Did we get a foul too, or did we just purely stop him? And now the crowd's going to be even more on his side. Of course not. 
actually think it was on purpose. Yeah. Shh, no, okay. He's just doing whatever he can to try to stop you in any situation. That is, that is facts. That is facts. This is... Damn, that was a bar. I love that from Kagami. This ain't no fucking story, my boy. We're going to decide the, the destinies and the, and the details of our next event, and we're going to decide how it goes out. I love that. This ain't no fucking isekai. Come on. Look at that face, too. I love that boy. If you guys are watching Blue Lock with me, is it weird that hearing Kagami makes me more excited for Kunigami and Blue Lock? And then obviously Aomine and Baro. Like, come on. <laughs> Don't say that, Junpei. No. Oh, you guys stop roasting him. That was a bar. Izuki's like, fuck yeah. At least he, he made everyone less tense, you know. Brought back the vibes of the Seirin. Now I'm relaxed. You just needed that, you know, a little levity. <laughs> That's to stop them. Yeah, we've already beaten everyone he's copied except for uh, Akashi, you know? We need Kagami to. Ooh! So Tetsu, my boy Kuroko, gonna predict who he's gonna copy, and then Kagami stop it. Ooh, that's clean, right? And I love those cuts of the color. Oh my god. Okay, good drive. Meanwhile, my boy Kuroko is just observing. Kisei is going past him as well, trying to catch up. Oh, just like Aomine. I love the way they cut that. That looks so sick. Not the pivot jump shot with the Murasaki Barra block. So that's what Junpei Hugo was saying to uh, Kagami. Draw out all the plays we can while Kuroko is observing. And then he fakes it with a pass. That's the thing about Kisei. Like Akashi said, he has almost unlimited options he can do, you know. And of course it's out on us. Junpei with the mega out of bounds dive with the save, knocking it out on blue. Let's go. That's our ball. Oh, but he could have gotten injured immensely. Such a legend. You gotta be careful, full blown diving. That's called commitment right there. Seirin, 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 Seirin. Wow. They officially took the lead with like 30. 35, 6 seconds left, but now is when we kick our plan into gear. We beat Kisei, and we scored the game-winning point. God damn. They're ending it right there? Good. Because I got one more in me. Good, good, good. All right. Over to episode 62, I think this is. It's time. Best player of all lives. Something like that. Look at all their fucking... You can see their aura. You can see their aura coming off them. Oh my god, why are they all coming out full speed? Run and gun, Hail Mary! I love how one of you guys pointed out that that voice actor is Poof from Hunter x Hunter, and now all I do is hear Poof, and I love it so much. Ooh, great vice grip pass over to my boy Junpei, who's gonna be shooting that three, come on! Wet? Ooh, pump fake? That transition. Ooh, Kuroko with the not really a steal. He stole it from his own teammate to pass it over to Kagami. Tipped it though. Well, still made it in great. So now we technically have the lead again, right? 79 78. Yep, yeah, but they're gonna score again, and then we're gonna score the last one. Something like that. It's just what I told you during the timeout. The rest is up to Kagami. This is the end, Kisei-kun. Okay. I love this song when they play it. Come on. Defense! Defense! 
Defense, 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 defense. Come on, Kuroko. <laughs> I don't like that you called him pathetic, but I love that you acknowledge that you respected him. Woo. <laughs> I love that. Come on. I literally have goosebumps right now. That's why I'm not going to underestimate you. I must win. I love this shot. He dives right for the ball. Immediately in the Aumina. This man's like double crossing him. <laughs> Literally. Your ankles got broke twice. And then he just Murasaki Bara dunks it, of course. Look at his team, even his coach. <laughs> he avoids using the same twice in a row. So we know he's going to go Almine first, and we know he's not going to go Almine again. But the strongest from that position is Murasaki Bara. Wow, that's an accurate prediction, Kuroko! No, oh, but he's thinking like, wait, is, is this going to their plan? What's going on? Because then you got Izuki's Eagle Spear. Don't grab it again, Kisei. If you grab this ball... That's how much faith he has in his fucking teammates. I love that boy Kasamatsu. I know. I, I hate putting that much pressure on you. No, but he said that, so he has to make it. Because we know he's a real man. Hell no. We need one more point, motherfucker. We're going to do a buzzer beater like crazy. Oh. See... And in doing so, I made us lose. <laughs> yeah, that's that boy Kisei for you. So I won't ask you to stop Kisei. Except, we're going for the quickest counterattack you've ever seen. That's actually what we wanted. We knew it would be impossible, improbable, to stop Kisei. Interesting. Leaving a few seconds left for a counterattack. <laughs> That's us. If there's any word that describes us, it's per persistent. Yeah. You probably have, what, two seconds left? One second left? I don't know. We're just going for a free throw. Oh, the meteor jam. Throwing it down. Yeah, you gotta jump so high to be able to slam it down like that. The last minute call out from his boy. He's gonna keep going forward, like curve it down. Oh, he threw it off the backboard to Kuroko. That was a perfect pass. Come on, Kuroko. With the buzzer beater, come on, Kuroko. If Kuroko makes this too, it's such perfect. Yes. Yes, we won. Kuroko's the one specifically that beat Kisei too. Whereas Kagami is the one who did it against Murasaki Bara. We did it here. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. Talk about a fucking butt clencher. My cheeks are fucking sealed shut now. We made it to the finals of the goddamn Winter Cup. The amount of frustration... They feel. I literally can't imagine. I literally cannot. How close they were. Any mistake, any slight change could have differed, changed that game. Who God knows how much. I think in terms of personality. And don't get me wrong. Like I love Sukuna. I love Aomine. I think Kisei is probably my favorite. Like he's just a guy I would be cool with being friends with, you know? Hell yeah. Shouts out my boy. Facts. Big ass facts.
That's just how much of a team player uh, <laughs> team player you are, I know. Shouts out, Kise. God damn, I fuck with these guys. I was super fucked with Iwaizumi and Oikawa, too, so it really makes sense that I love Kise and Kasamatsu. I love them as a duo, but I also love Midorima and Takayo, you know? Such an amazing team. Hell yeah, we will. Got you, boy. Gonna bring me to tears over here. That's a good. That's a good boy right there. Aww. That's why. That's why they're the goats. God damn it. I always feel for these guys, you know? You know, just like Seirin, these guys gave it their all. If it was any team I would want to win besides fucking Seirin, it would have to be Kaijo. I love those boys. God damn. I don't know if I'm ready for this men's final. I don't know. <laughs> is this like a new ending? No, this is the opening they're playing. Why does this look so different and sweet? Okay, I just had to blow my nose. We got a little but uh, I said buzzer beater. <laughs> we got a little after credit scene. I swear to God, I just said buzzer beater. That's hilarious. <laughs> Hell yeah. Is he smiling? Let me see it. Right? You are the spot. You're in the spotlight. You're not the shadow. I love that. Shouts out Midorima. Also, very good character development since we first met him at the beginning. Love that boy. The goat. Yeah, remember? It was Takeo and Kuroko and, and Kagami and Midorima. They were like training and shit. That was a good time. I completely forgot about that. It's like Jiraiya and pain. It's like a, it's like a little hint. He's like, I'm giving you a piece of advice. You interpret it how you may. But there are two Akashis. I wonder if that has anything to do with the different colored eyes. What does that mean? And who is this? Who is this boy? Because I have to assume it's Akashi, but he doesn't have the same. It's not. He quit because of me. He'll likely never forgive me. They're setting this up ominously. Oh, wouldn't. Jesus. We're going to get some flashbacks in the future? Okay. Talk about a goddamn ending for an episode. Talk about an ending for a game. Oh my god. I know, like, literally I was brought to tears. Like, I had to go off screen, you know, wipe some, some thug tears. But I just love Kisei. I just love, there's so many people, so many characters in the show that have had such great develop, character development over these, like, last 60 episodes. Like, there's so many characters, like, I want to make, like, a top five list. And I'm like, oh, no, but he definitely deserves to be up there. But goddamn, no, he deserves to be this. Yeah. So it's like, it'd be impossible for me. It'd be very similar to, like, Haikyuu. Like, there's so many characters I'm invested in. It's not even funny. Like, I love I love pretty much all the GOMs, you know? Like, I, I love them all, but I love Seiri, and I love a lot of the members of other teams. Like, I love Kasamatsu, Takeo. Uh, Himuro is really growing on me as well, especially from when we first met him uh, during Season 2. Obviously, Kuroko, Mitsube, Izuki, Junpei, Kiyoshi's the goat, Kagami, love Rico, her dad's hilarious. Oh, there's so many different people in the show that I love. And uh, it, beating Kisei in the way we did and everything with the buzzer beater with Kuroko being the hero and not having to be the shadow with Kagami doing the counterattack with then Midorima giving us advice and Aumine all of this. Oh, it's it just like... It's coming full circle really well. Like, it really is. Like, we're having stuff that we didn't get from the first 10 episodes, you know, pay off till now, which is really good. And I'm really here enjoying it. Uh, I don't I don't know. I, I can't even brag about it anymore. Like, this show is just immaculate to me. And the fact that I'm getting this plus Blue Lock at the same time, like, sports animes are just winning right now. And, like, they're just going ham. 
I do know after Kuroko, thankfully I'll have Blue Lock still going weekly, but I am taking a little bit of a break from sports anime, sadly. I am gonna, I'll let you guys know who watched Kuroko, who stick this far in the video. It's a little, little indication of what's gonna be replacing it. I am gonna be doing, it's nice and short, I am gonna be doing Cyberpunk Edge Runners, I believe what it's called, but uh, we only got a few, like another month of Kuroko, and then we're about to be done, and then, yeah, but I'm thoroughly enjoying this, thoroughly, so. I just know when I'm done with Cyberpunk and when I'm done with the show after that, I can't tell you what that is yet. I'm definitely going back in the sports anime and it's gotta be Run With The Wind, Ace No Diamond, Hajime No Ippo, Megalobox, there's many, you know, there's many. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell, all that jazz. Have a great day, drink some water, Dapper Squad. Peace out.